In 1443, the Annals of King Sejong record reads, the king created 28 characters of the written and spoken language. It states that King Sejong, the fourth king of Joseon, created Hangul, the Korean alphabet. Three years later, King Sejong distributes Hunmin Jeongum, which is an instruction book for the meaning and usage of the Korean alphabet. However, if we take a closer look at Hun Min Jeongum, Huggins' novel, The Tale of Hong Gil Dong, and the first Korean recipe book, Umsik Dimibang, we notice something different. At that time, there was no spacing. Then when did we begin to use spacing when writing in Korean? Surprisingly, the answer lies with Homer Halbert, an American missionary. Homer Halbert came to Korea in 1886 as an educator and a missionary. He introduced Korean culture to the world and loved this nation so much that he fought for its independence. How could he have the answer on spacing in the Korean language? Spacing began to be used in the Korean language by The Independent, which was first published in 1896. Halbert created the paper with Seo jae and Ju si -kyung. The Independent was the first Korean newspaper to use spacing. Halbert researched the Korean alphabet with Ju si -kyung, and in the process introduced spacing and periods. He wrote the first Korean textbook, Samin Pilji, and published a Korean textbook in the United States. He also wrote a great number of papers to introduce the excellence of the Korean alphabet to the world. There is no other alphabet that has been created more simply and scientifically than the Korean alphabet in the history of letters. Homer Halbert was the first foreigner who recognized the excellence of the Korean alphabet. It has been 569 years since the Korean alphabet was first created. The excellence of Korean is a proud part of Korea's cultural heritage.